See that heel? Look at that. Hi guys and welcome back. So I thought I would do what seems to be a requested video from you lot, which is my shoe collection. So if you want to see what I've got, I am a bit of a Melda Marcos, I'm sorry, then just keep watching this video. <laughs> oh, and for the elephant that's in the room, I decided to go with big hair. I don't know, I go through phases where I like my short hair and then I also like big hair. So right now I am doing my alter ego and doing with big hair, going with big hair. I need to give her a name because I just feel like, I don't know. You know like how Beyonce is called Sasha Fierce when she's on stage? I feel like when I've got big hair, I need a name. So if you've got any ideas for a name, let me know. And if I like it enough, I'm gonna actually stick to it. Um, all right, so my collection. Da -da! Is this the right way to do it? Okay, so there's a lot going on here. These are Ikea shelves, for those who've asked me. Um, I have a collection of shoes that has built up over the years. So I didn't get all of this all at once, which is probably the same for most people. So apologies for the lighting, if it sort of goes in and out or it's a little bit dark, but I have got the camera, and my back is to the window, and I never shoot that way. I always shoot facing the light, and I've got my back to the light, so it's kind of weird. But anyway, ugh, what can I do first? Oh my God, I haven't even got the top shelf in. Look, I'm just gonna pull down the shoes from the top shelf. Um, I have these, which I love. These are my um, men's, these are from men's departments. These are Yves Saint Laurent Johnny Boots. I got these about four to five years ago and they are still my favorite leopard print boots. If you look, they're slightly mismatched when I bought them. Very, very rocker chick. And I got these, I got these from the Isabel Moran and H&M collaboration. That was about what, three years or so ago-ish? Of these to death. I don't even wear them that much, but I need to because I just love that pointy shape, that slouch look, that fringing. Can you imagine wearing these like with a, just a pair of like slim, skinny, like black jeans? Just think like um, em Emal, what's her name? Shit, I forgot. Imagine wearing these with a pair of like just black skinnies and just an oversized blazer and you've got a t-shirt on, just put these on. Love these, so I'm not gonna get rid of those. So anyway, so those are those. I got these from, oh, AGL. I'll put them all the links below for everything that I've got. Um, these I got a couple of seasons ago. They sent them to me and fantastic. So the Chelsea boot, patent leather, zips up the back as you can see. All right, so I have these. I got these from um, Kurt Geiger. These are also gifted to me. They are a pair of like just patent loafers, pointy toe, look at that simple block heel, low block heel. Really like these. I just think these are really, really just cool and easy to put on. So those, are, so that's up there as well. These are my beloved Robert Clergeries. I've mentioned these before. These are the Croc Effect Slide Mules. Really love these mules. Very perfect for right now, the season as you're transitioning. So these are good shoes. And these are the kind of shoes I'm actually starting to slowly like transitioning to think about wearing. I've got these um, Nike Blaze trainers that I was absolutely mad about getting because they're iridescent. I don't know if you can see that, but they have like this glow on them and I just wanted them so badly. But like a lot of things, I don't know if I really want them anymore. But for reference, I'm a US size 10 slash US 11, depending on the brand and uh, Euro 41 UK size eight. These are my mango shoes. Love these so much. Got these last year. Still love them to death. They have a sort of Celine vibe to them. Just love that simple minimalist cut in that beautiful cognac leather brown. Stunning shoes. These look amazing on. And these are the kind of shoes I can't wait to wear as it's coming into like this autumn season. Oh, I could actually wear them with this. I sort of can imagine it a little bit. It's so good, it's so good. <laughs> and then I've got these from Nicholas Kirkwood. These are flat zigzag pointy shoes. I always get compliments. Sorry, I'm looking in the monitor because I want to make sure this is everything's coming out clearly. Um, I always get compliments when I wear these loafers and it's just, I don't know. I don't know why, I guess it's just a zigzag pattern. It has to be and just the shape of the point of the shoe. And then I got these, the trusty Chloe Susannas. God. These aren't going anywhere. I always think that if there's a fire, I know I've said this before, but if there's a fire in this house and you can only grab a handful of things from the shoe category, 
these are the ones that I would definitely be grabbing from the handful. Um, I got these a couple of years ago, maybe two if not three years ago. Still love these to death and this is a shoe that also I want to be wearing as it transitions into autumn slash winter. You probably know they come in so many different colours now, even in velvet, but I always just love the original black leather, just that brass gold hardware, just oh. These are just everything to me and they run big as well because I got these in a size 40 and I remember I said in the beginning that I'm a Euro 41. These are a 40 and they fit perfectly. Okay, so moving along, I have these from Topshop. These are the Topshop Arson boots. I've had these for donkey's years now. They're starting to break in really, really nicely. And I just think, again, I love what I love about these is because they've got a very vintage vibe to them. So very, very cool rocker chick vibe shoe. And I feel like these are kind of like a sort of unisex feel to them. I love shoes, especially ankle boots that have a slight managed vibe to them. All right, I'm gonna move along quickly because this is gonna take way too long. I have these, these are by Toga Puller as well. These are like a shoe boot. I think that's the best way to describe them. Look at the heel detail on the back. Very simple. I like the two-tone different um, finishes. You've got like the matte here and the patent leather at the top. I have these from Zara. Let me just make sure. Yeah, you can see. You can see these okay. These are the pointy shoes with the triple thin strap. Still love those. These are a pair of coaches. Look at the heel on these though. So retro. And it's. I love how thick and chunky the heel is and how thin this strap is. I just like that combination. And they really do like look like a pair of old school 60s type of shoe. Going down here, we've got my loafers, I've got my Gucci's. These are the crackled leather ones. Oh, still love these so much. These are the kind of shoes that I sort of look forward to when it gets, you know, the season changes. Okay, it looks a little bit pale on screen. They are much darker in real life. So I'll try and insert cutaways so you can see how they really look but they are like a two or three shades darker than what you're seeing on this screen here. Very, very comfortable. These are Queen Mum shoes, very statement making, and I just love to just wear these like, just with very simple clothes, like even this jeans t-shirt and the blazer, very simple though, plain, bung these on. I just love that combination together. And then I got these Gucci's. I call these my Alice in Wonderland loafers. I don't wear these half as much as I need to. And now that fall is approached or is approaching, I feel like these are like the perfect shoe to let bust out. These I'm probably gonna sell. Um, I do love these a lot, but there's something about the square toe that on me, they're not 100% comfortable. Like they press down on my big toenail. I know it sounds really horrible, <laughs> but they do, which is really annoying because they're loafers. And they Loafers shouldn't hurt, should they? It should be like outdoor slippers. My bass loafers, these are really comfortable. Um, I have these in black as well, but, but the black ones are so shite right now because I've worn them to death that I had to get a pair of burgundies as a sort of like a replacement for the black ones. Also, I've been wearing bass loafers since I used to go to college. So these are like bass loafers to me are like a real old school shoe. Moving down, these are the trainers. I got three pairs of Adidas tile shoes here, trainers. Um, and then we've got the, oh my God, these are my trash and vaudeville. Oh God, these are my trash and vaudeville pointy metallic silver shoes. How badass are these? Oh my God. Every time I wear these, I get compliments. I just think they just look so, I guess, unusual to most people. So it's not that a typical brogue. And it's just, oh, I think I got it from the men's department as well, from Trash and Vaudeville. Yeah, I love these. These are by Underground, that's the brand. These look so good, like contrasted with a dress. You just put these on and wear a dress. It's such an unexpected combination, and I really like that together. And then I've got these Acne Brogues. These I got from Woodbury Commons Outlet, and I got them from there because they were like less than half price, really like a hefty looking shoe. And these were in bright purple when I bought them. So I had them dyed. I did not dye them myself, but I had them dyed. When I was buying them, I thought, I'm gonna buy these puppies and I'm gonna dye them black. And so said, so done. Great job, good tip for you. If you're in the shops, you don't like the color, just dye the bloody thing. Same with clothes actually, when you think about it. All right, so these are a pair of vintage shoes. I, look at these, oh my God. Look at the, how gorgeous are these croc brown shoes? Again, I got these from the men's department. These are um, 
vintage loafers. I love these. I love the chocolate brown color. It's got a slight glaze on it. So badass. It's so, so good. All right, so I'm going to move further down. All right, so I got these from Zara. I haven't worn these that much. I got them towards the end of the season when I think they were like reduced on sale. So I thought I'm going to get them because I want to wear them for this season. But I got these as well. How good are these from Zara? I think you lot probably know these. I love the kind of vintage look to them and that kind of deep vamp front here, which is still trending and going into this season. Love those to death. You, these don't need any introductions. If you are a shoe addict like I am, then you will know that these are the Robert Clergy and self-portrait collaboration shoes. I will insert pictures of how these look on. Freaking amazing. I'm not going to talk too much about those. I'm just going to move swiftly along. I did a video talking about these particular shoes and I will link that for you either on the screen or down below. Maybe I'll do both. And my beloved Stella McCartney's. Oh, if there is a shoe that I am looking forward to wearing, look at me clapping like an idiot, that I'm looking forward to wearing when the temperature gets lower outside of the brogues I was telling you about, it's these. I bought these the last time I was in St. Lucia, which was in December, so the trip before the last, and these were fantastic to wear, so I wore those, and I didn't want to repeat and just bring them again. By God, I'm looking for, oh, look, look at that. There's something about, there's something about the original of the Stella McCartney in particular. Now, people have asked me, are they heavy? Yes, they are, but, there is some voodoo magic with these flipping shoes. When you pick them up like this, you go, bloody hell, this is way too heavy. But, don't ask me why, but when you put these on your foot, they aren't that heavy, and I mean it. That's what happened to me. When I picked them up, I put these shoes up for about two years solid, no lie, from the department store, and I kept putting them back, because I thought, no, A, too heavy, B, my foot is gonna look like fucking Bigfoot. Okay, so moving down, I know my head is cut off. Look at these Gucci heels, these Marmont heels. Bloody hell, I had to get the, oh my Lord. I mean, I saw these and all I could think, oh, you can't even see me. I saw these and all I could think was, oh, mama. I couldn't find this color in my size in New York. So I got these from um, the UK and these are a 40 and a half. These are fantastic. They are as good as they look here. Trust me when I tell you that. Down here, I've got my H&Ms. These are the slides. I got them in two colors. Both times these were um, sent to me by fantastic readers and followers of my blog and Instagram. I'm so glad that they did because I really do love them. Um, works of art to me. This was their unicorn shoe. So, oh, so good. And if you're looking for these, I would highly suggest just typing in H&M origami bow slides or H&M ribbon, H&M satin bow slides, something along those lines. And these are my platform espadrilles, which I think you guys have seen before on my Instagram. They've got a velvet sash here that ties up. Really, really like those a lot. And then you've got my Mew Mews over here. These are a 41 and a half and these fit great. The 41 does fit me but I get a bit of a toe indentation impression on the soft leather. It actually leaves an outline. I don't like that look. So the 40 and a, 41 and a half are absolutely perfect. And then these are more of a more recent from my full haul. You already know about these. Uh, these are the Zara kitten heels. And going down, I've got my Balenciaga um, cutout boots. These are Zara, just like a block heel pointy boot, really like these. I got these like three seasons ago and I still really like this classic cut to them. To me, Zara hasn't like topped this particular style of ankle boot, so I've just always really liked them. And I think that's a good thing. If you don't see a better version of what you've already got, then why even change it? Just keep what you have. These are also from Zara. I found these in the clearance sale. How badass are these? Pointy front, burgundy, patent leather, but look at that heel. <gasps> see that heel? Look at that. These look so much more expensive than they really, and it's look, it's like a loose sight heel. <gasps> so bloody good, oh my God, these are amazing. And they were just sitting there, just like waiting to be discovered. Nobody was looking at them. And I was like, why not? And I just thought, why is anyone looking at these bloody brogues? Anyway, I digress as always, because we're talking about shoes, or I am. Got these from Zara as well. These are just a pair of like kitten heels, 
burgundy burgundy suede um these i bought i think last year i've inserted a couple of pictures you can see them on me um found these on ebay because i didn't get them on the zara site still love them for this season it's burgundy it's dual tone dual tones always work for the fall guaranteed so that's why these still will come in and work well these are a pair of velvet ankle boots almost like the topshop arson boots but in that gorgeous velvet cobalt blue that I love. You don't know how I feel about cobalt blue. Oh, yes, so you know how I feel about velvet and I thought these are brilliant. What a great combination. Snakeskin gray and the blue. Oh, velvet, so badass. And then I've got these from Topshop. Look at these. Like, these are like the Saint Laurent Inspo uh, ankle boots and uh, zip up the back and I've got that little sort of square it off toe very kind of rock chick I really like these actually I could imagine wearing this with this shirt and just wear it with like a black jean and just put these on oh okay oh my god I can't get up <laughs> okay so that is it I'm going to stop this recording here because I think it's just going to get way too long and you're not just going to like be like nodding off so I'm going to do a part two to this video um it'll either be on friday or it'll be like on the following week or something but i hope this helped you well how can this help you this will never help you this video is not going to help you i try and do videos that will help you this is the anti-help video it's basically my weakness everyone has a weakness this is mine bags too gotta say that and that will come down the road for a video but shoes probably comes there and then you've got bags right there i think if there's any shoes that you thought you like the look of and you're my size and i mentioned in this video that i might be selling let me know drop me a line maybe just put a message on my instagram so that i can uh, we can talk offline a little bit and um yeah i think that's it because i do have a shop i will link it below but i haven't put any of those shoes on there yet so by the time this video goes up i don't know if they'll be up so if they're not just reach out to me directly. And that is it. This is the 2017 Imelda Marcos MTV crib slash um, hoarding problems of a fashion blogger slash fashion slave lover. Okay, so that is me, basically. Just know you have someone who also loves shoes just as much as you do. Please do subscribe to this video if you are a fellow shoeaholic, just like I am. All right, so that is my lot. I will see you for part two, like I said. Um, and I will talk to you on Friday. Bye, guys. I'll link that for you either on the screen or down below. Maybe I'll do both. Oh, God, look at me. I look like I'm doing... Ha, ha, ha. I'm done with the video. I'm so done with this video. <laughs> okay, so moving down to the shelf that you can see. Oh, God. Shoes are falling! Shoenado. See, I'm not pretending. The first, the first step to admitting you have a problem is to, no. The first step to knowing you have a problem is to, no. The first step to curing a problem. What is that saying?